Hello guys, in this video we will see how to stop, start and restart PostgreSQL service on Windows operating system. We are going to perform these operations on Windows 11 operating system. The process is same for all Windows 10 or Windows servers. Okay? We have two methods to start, stop or restart in Windows environment. One by using command prompt and another by using services application. Okay? First, on your machine, Windows run, that is Windows button, then run. Here search for services.msc. This is one way. Other way is open, then search for services. See, we have the services application. Both are fine, okay. So, go to PostgreSQL. See here, I have two versions installed on my Windows machine. See, this is the service. This is the description of the service, this is the status of the service, this is the startup type and log on as which means the account linked with this application. See here we have we have three methods in services also we have three ways. See right click then we can click on stop because it is already running. Okay stop pause and restart and select the service then here also we have three links like stop pause restart and here three buttons like stop, pass and restart. First right click and click on stop. Any of these three are same. So right click and click on stop. See. Restart day has been grayed out. Stop also gone. Pause also gone. Because once service is stopped we can only start it. Okay. See now service is stopped. So try to connect to the this post SQL server. If you have installed pgadmin it's fine. Otherwise open psql shell start then go to applications go to process equal 16 folder then 16 then see here we have the sql that is psql hit enter 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 provide username also same see now we will be not able to connect see we will get the message here it is saying connection to server localhost port for with the port 5432 failed. Connection refused. It is also asking server is it running on the host or not. It is question mark. We have to verify that. Press any key to quit from the PSQL shell. Also we can verify by going to PG admin. Expand servers. Right click on this one, click on connect, provide the password of the, it is saying connection timed out error because service is stopped. But if you try this one, you will be able to connect. Let me give the, see we have successfully connected because the PostgreSQL server with the version 13 is running, okay. But here we are unable to connect. So we have to start, click on, select the service. Then click on start or click on the start link or right click and click on start. Three are same. See now service stop. Now service is started. Here. Now provide the password. See we have successfully connected. Also we can connect by using PSQL. All applications. Post is equal 16, then SQL shell. Provide the password of the Postgres user. See, we have successfully connected because service is running. Okay. So, the second method is, this is the one way by using services application. The other way is open command prompt as CMD, then we must have to run, run as administrator. Otherwise, we won't be able to perform the action on this service. Click on this run as administrator. Now give the command net stop then in singular double quotes go to the services right click on it properties copy this service name copy it then go to here right click so it has been pasted and 
end with double quotes and hit enter. See here the message, first is equal service is stopping. See, first is equal 16 services, service was stopped successfully. Now, but he see here, but still it is showing running. So, to update it, you have to refresh or you have to close the services application and reopen. See, it is stopped. Okay, again, if you want to start, see, give the same command net start, then singular double quotes, paste the service name and hit enter. See, we have successfully started the process equal service. Again, refresh here. See, now service is running. Okay, so and the last option if you want to restart, you have to click on this restart button. Okay. See, now first it is stopping, now it is starting. See, so in this video we have seen how to stop, start and restart the process SQL service on Windows 11 operating system. The process is same for all Windows 10 or Windows servers.